Je vais quand même simple de l'homme. Ça. Gateway Life Church. For Ben Akanya. Et Gateway Life Church. Church quoi, non, 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 And Jeffrey and I, your papa, friends, appear Ah, look what I have, friend. Good, the friends. Open it, and in the mood you make a crack at Ghana, Sabri and Abusia have been saying, "Any day, the two of you and the other company at the day when crack, 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 crack." Eti, neba, odi bi brother, odi ne mokani Abra, and I told Sabri and say, "Yebra, na yefo odo me bodo." This is the first time you are seeing me. I would like to take this opportunity to welcome you all to this very important occasion. The reason why we are gathering here today is to say our final respect and the final funeral rights for our late father. I will share Penin Akiyage, whose demise happened in Ghana somewhere last year. And today is the day that we are putting aside to celebrate the life of our dear father. I would like to take also take the opportunity to introduce myself. My name is Benjamin Krobia Asante. I'm C. Krobia. I don't know how to say my friend. I'm Krobia. I am in the year. Why would you never be down? I've been in front of my brother. I need not have money because he will feel that I'm a Friday boy. Um, even though we are celebrating the life of our father, it's a sudden occasion, but we combine happiness with sadness. We cannot sit here just like that and go away and say we came for a funeral. No, that's not the way we do it. And it's a woman, and to four or two, you are. I would like to say a very big thank you to you. You've really, really made my day, and I think other people will also attest to that. It is a humble beginning, and all of a sudden, we are all over the place. It's here that must be said, my dear sir. You see, I'm trying to do this. I normally don't do this because men come from Africa. But because we have some people who don't understand our language, I will combine the language and the English. I'm not going to do the English. So if I do the English, please forgive me. I'm not an Ashanti. I'm not going to do the English. If you have a little bit of 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 a little So, 
Oh, it my dear, you know, bring me so much. If you only need it, my a crap. Maybe I never give so full. I mean, you said, and I was going to be. And I'm going to cry out and go to the temple, but I'm also going to come on. This shows that he's a man of God. I'm talking about the pastor for Gateway Life Church. In the presence of Pastor Emmanuel Nyani, of Sophonia Nima Musunaya Nima Wakamawati. I will do my service if I don't introduce Mama Olivia. I think I've already introduced her a little bit. She gave us the opening prayer. And to Mama Olivia, also for you, Mama Musunaya Nima Wakamawati. Yeah, that was sin. Sabrina, my brother, and me, and Rabbi Tine Waha. You better be brave. I said, you better be brave. Be brave, then you will have until you come back. My father, when you are not so, I'm going to be at Shrek. Me, Sabri, be brave, no? Me, go, be not my family, I want to be brave, and I can't hear. And you want anyone who did you mean? You want to be a in a life that will YouTube. And you want to be a bit of American Eric Afro Media. Oh, no, you don't know. And you want to be a real old job for me. Oh, yeah, come on, come on, come on. And you said, Oh, you want to be a year, I'm to a year, you But you want to be a class, oh, because I'm going to be a man, I'm going to be a man, and 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 I'm going to be a Eh, uh, what is a mean? I mean, I feel that we feel. We see the fear we will yes, we can be brave. When they say they are going to be there, they don't know where they be at. Ah, you see, say they make a mistake. Say, oh, oh, God, no one can be there. One can be brave. Not a yet. And you, the man now, how many are there? They are feeding the mood. They are the baby's brain feeding the mood. You see, hey, DJ Willie, DJ Willie, my, yeah, DJ Willie. Thank you very much.
even if you go to combine the two together, I mean, two languages together at the same time, we're not wasting time. So, and a season in one's life. And today we are witnessing a season and an event in somebody's life. And as we're here, I believe we are here with the friends and family to also offer support to Brother Richard and Sister Rosemary and the family at large, even in Ghana. And it's our prayer that the Lord will comfort them. Amen. Amen. Rock of ages, let for me.
Then he said to me, Prophesy to these bones and say to them, Dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. This is what the sovereign Lord says to these bones. I will make bread empty you, and you will come to life. Hallelujah. Amen. Beloved of the Lord, as the prophet said, this was the saying of the Lord. I'm showing you some dry bones in the valley. And I believe that today these dry bones are speaking to everyone that is here. As the prophet Ezekiel saw, he saw bones that were lying in the valley. But can I interest you to know that these bones haven't been bones all the time. There were times that these bones had flesh on them. Oh, I could tell that these bones had flesh that they could put enough makeup on to look very fresh. These bones, I believe, if they were women, they had the boots and then they had the backside to show. But today they were lying in the body and all that they can be seen is bones. I want to believe that these bones also were people that lived and probably they had possessions and they had mortgages, they had cars, they had everything that today that we have. In the olden days, kings go to war. These bones could have represented kings that have fallen and now they are lying in the valley. These bones speak to us today because of one day you and I are also going to be bones. I didn't see, I didn't hear hallelujah to that. There is an event that everyone will go. But when it happens to somebody, we think that that person is very unfortunate. Because